You can see that Taskade is way more than just a productivity tool managing projects. We have AI, we have automation. Welcome to the ultimate guide on Taskade automations. And overall, a bit of a video on Taskade, the AI powered tool that's revolutionizing productivity. Whether you're a team leader, project manager, or just someone looking to streamline their daily tasks, we're about to dive into how Taskade's innovative features can transform your workflow, making it more efficient, collaborative, and intelligent. So let's not wait any longer. Join me as we step into the world of Taskade, uncovering the secrets to seamless productivity and advanced team collaboration one feature at a time. So first of all, let's do a little bit of a walkthrough of some of the features that are within Taskade that are definitely relevant to this video. Taskade overall has a great ability to connect with third-party apps, simplifying your workflow and allowing you to focus on what truly matters. So let's create an automation within our Taskade account. All you have to do is simply go to a project within your Taskade account, click automations, and then press add automations. Now, a great example of what you can do here is utilize one of our Templates. Now you can create them from scratch where you can utilize the triggers as I showed earlier. However, what I would recommend is if you're new to it to kind of play around with one of these templates. So for example, this template is a Google form one where essentially, so I've connected my account here. What I then can do is grab any of the forms that I've created. So this actually will show any of the forms that you have in your Google account. And then I can grab something like this course evaluation form and have it so that the trigger is when there is a new response. I then could basically take a look at all the different answers. As you can see, one of the fields is something along the lines of, how would you answer this? How would you improve this course? So what I would maybe ask my AI here is create a project and action items list for the answer to the question and then write out the question. What would you improve about this class? based on this answer the student gave. Put the at symbol and make sure this is all set to go. All right, now the next step of this would be to essentially put this into a project so that we can actually add a task for how the AI kind of tells us that we need to improve it. So select the documentation project, let's put ideas. Then for content, let's just select the ask AI result and then we'll put it at the very end, all right? And then at the end of that process, we also could essentially send a Slack message. And after we connect our account, we can pick where we necessarily want this to go, right? We can pick what channel, uh, whether it be public or private. I'm just gonna put it in the general idea section. And then I'm gonna say, hey there, a new Google form submission on course feedback came through. Make sure to check it out here. And then I'm going to put different fields that would make sense. So a new form submission from who? From at and then do respondents email. Make sure to check out the new task for it here. Just press the task ID and then from there should be good. So that's all the steps that I'd want. So I'm going to press save changes here. And then you can turn this on or off by pressing run. And I'm going to rename this to new course feedback. And then I'm gonna put the different apps that are involved here. So Google Forms, comma, Taskade, comma, Slack in order. All right, so then from there, we could press active. And if we fill out this form, for example, I'm gonna say the form is gonna be filled out by me. So let's do Marketing 101, Dimitri Panici, me, the instructor. I put a lot of effort into the course. I'm gonna give it some decent scores across the board. I found the teacher top notch. And then I would say, I would have liked more impactful real life examples of how to implement marketing into a business we would be running. All right, so then if we press submit, what'll happen is after this runs, data will actually pop up here. So after that's done, I'm gonna actually go check out this documentation project. Quick note, by the way, you can add automations by clicking on this little guy right here. Now you'll notice here that on the bottom of this, it ended up creating what I asked for, project and action items for what I talked about, for things like real life, for researching real life examples of marketing and business operations, identifying specific areas in the course where real life examples can be incorporated and much, much more. Now that's pretty awesome. What if I even added a quick trigger so that when a task is completed in here, then it sends a Slack message as well to my 
account that I talked about. Let's say, hey there, this task at task content or at task ID and then parentheses, maybe the link to the node is complete. All right, so then from there, let's turn this on and press save. Then let's go inside our project. Let's go to the actions view and let's check off the action items here. So you can see right here, a task was checked off and in the run section, it's showing. And then in our Slack messages, I got a little message saying, hey, the task and then the ID was complete. And if I click on it, it brings me right back to what got completed inside of Taskade. So it's pretty cool that this is a thing. So as we wrap up this comprehensive video guide from start to finish of creating a project through creating a basic automation here, you can see that Taskade is way more than just a productivity tool managing projects. We have AI, we have automation, and we have so much more to offer you. So I'm really excited in order for you to see how this can get even more in depth. This is just a basic use case and overview of what the features that exist are. We're gonna roll out a lot more. As you saw, there was the ability to send out Gmails in the future. There was a good Google Sheet integration. We're going to have more. We're going to have more and more updates to give you all. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out videos like this one on how to improve your skills using Taskade to stay up to date with what we have and even more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.